first off, I think watching what's going on, just like in Scrum and Agile, sometimes it's better just to get in and like I shared that article from that um, emergency, respond, emergency responder about the Ebola virus when he said, you just got to get in there and, and start attacking it. And I kind of think that's the same way with what we're doing today. The nice thing about today is Monday. It's the first week after a lot of states, or at least where I live in Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey was later, um, where they told everybody you have to stay home and you can't, non-essential, non-life-sustaining people have to stay home. So pretty much everything except for people working in the grocery store or if you got to go get food. So you're pretty much stuck. The nice thing about doing it early and getting it over with is now we're in a full work week. People who can work remotely, you get into a rhythm now. Now it's time to build a rhythm. Chaos was all last week. This week, chaos is over. The weekend's done. You know, I was hanging out with my family. Didn't get a lot of stuff done except for hanging with the family and just be with them and support them. Where other people want to do work and do all this new stuff. And I'm like, no, it's not what you want to do right now. You kind of want to be with them, get them all relaxed. Now's the time getting back into a a common pace and that's the beauty of scrum eddie would you stop messing with the cat um the boy is messing with the cat right now and i'm banging him in the head with my elbow come here bubbles we got a cat see there's a tail there's a tail and um the idea isn't getting the pace i can scrum we have certain pace every day we do a daily scrum we just do that process. Beginning of the sprint, you do your, your sprint planning. Towards the end of the sprint, you do your review and retrospective. And you do it every, every well, every company, every could be every day, a little lot every day, um, you know, weekly paces, however you do, two weeks, three weeks, I've been in a month. So it depends. And you can do longer than a month. But usually a month is what they suggest, and I would agree. Anything longer than a month is just a waste. You're really not doing anything. You're putting around. Um, so, but it's better to get it done sooner. People are like, oh, so we do sprint zero. Let's take six weeks to get everything. No, let's take two weeks, get everything done. Get everything set up, everybody in place. Give yourself two weeks, get it done. So, but with this whole thing with the coronavirus, I think getting yourself in a pace is really important. Uh, as we talked about, get yourself set up. Not, you, you, last week, you had your time to figure it out. Today, you got to get set up. Find your little spot where you can do your work. Stay in touch. Do what you normally do. Do your eight, If you work eight hours a day, nine hours, ten hours, hopefully not ten hours, and you listen to the show, and you're down to eight, get in a place where you can do your work. Treat it like you would normally do a job. Don't do a bunch of other things. That's the key, one of the keys of working at home. And then that time we talked about you get that extra hour and a half. What do you do with that, right? So we'll talk about that too. But I do believe getting into the pace sooner than later is a positive thing. I just got a, a message from one of my people out in New Zealand. He's saying, yep, yeah, they're on lockdown now. It's it's here. Um, but now they're behind, they're behind everybody else. They should have locked down earlier when everybody else did. Just said, do, get it done. Do it. Um, that we're all in sync. Anyway. So that's what I talk about pace. Get into that pace early. Try to get that today. Today's Monday to here in the East Coast. First day of this full work week underneath the coronavirus. Get into a pace. Figure out what you want to do all day, just like you would do in your office. Work, get up, take a break, walk around, stretch your legs, do some exercises, get some coffee, whatever you need to do. Go back to work, get lunch, you know, get in that pace. And at the end of the day, just like you would leave work, leave this computer, go home. Go do something. And this is our 244th, 45th episode, actually. We're almost at 250. It's pretty amazing, huh? Um, here we, I'm Greg Mester, Scrum Master, Agile Coach, and we talk about Agile and Scrum in a practical and tactical way and also apply Agile and Scrum to other things we do in life and how you can use these techniques to help you through difficult times and issues. And I just had a brain stoppage because it's it's early and it's Monday and it's a typical Monday, except for the fact we're all quarantined at home. Um, but we do this so you, you can get home to your family and friends, which you're stuck at home. 
So I guess we don't need that part of the intro because now you're physically stuck at home. Now you got to figure out how do we separate yourself from your family and friends because you're with them 24 seven.